techno music at its core is very minimalistic and be able to tra transcribe that into a, a one hour mix when you have all these trips and troughs and you are blending things particularly if you're staying in one tempo you need a great deal of creativity and you need to be very skilled at, at making sure yeah, he always doesn't get bored. Now, one thing I hope you notice as well, when while we were you know, adding the effects in at the beginning and playing with playing with it musically, we're at the same time bringing in the next piece. Um, because I know we have to get it ready, and I want to do this, and that's you know. That's just like your left hand when you're playing guitar. You're not thinking about what the right hand's doing. You're, you're, you're thinking about, okay, where well, I want to go with this and the right hand's playing with you. That's the same thing here. So you, you're just, you know, letting your, your right hand, in this case, left hand, do its thing. Um, and then with your right hand, you're plucking, getting the next one ready. Um, that's the best way I can explain it. You know, you're allowing one hand to freely just do its thing and you're allowing the other hand to think consciously, okay, I want to, I need to go this way, I need to go here, I need to do that. Uh, that's what we're doing here. We're bringing in the next track, getting it ready while we're doing this. So now we're bringing in the next song. Taking a listen. And from, we're, we're, we're selecting the cue point that we have and we're having listen, cool, we like it, awesome, let's get it ready, we're bringing it, bring it up, what do we want to do, what effects do we want to add in. So in this case, we're adding, a, you know, a bit of a, um, a flange, I believe it is, or a phaser, I think it is a phaser, or oh, this one sounds to me more like a, like a, like a phaser, um, and we are playing around with that, we're twisting it around. Again, all that's happening here is just you know, by, by adding in that effect, by adding in just a bit of a double, by adding something in at, at, at the halfway point, it, it just allows it to keep going. And pop music in its structure does this very, very well. There's always something happening every four beats. Um, and that's why it's so addictive to us, because there's always something happening. The hi-hat's coming in, it's coming out, the bass is coming in, it's coming out. There's an ear, something for the ear, candy. There's no tail of a reverb. There's something always happening in four beats. Um, and uh, if you haven't noticed that, and you listen to some you know, modern pop songs, and you'll notice that every so often, you know, whenever there's a, you know, a, a slight chance, um, you might get bored of it, you don't, because you don't think about that, because there's no time for you to think about, oh, this is boring, because always something happens, there's always a change before your brain can, you know, decide, okay, this, this is boring. And usually when it's, when, it, when your brain starts thinking that way, it's just because it isn't much going on. There hasn't been much going on for a certain amount of time, and you start thinking that it's boring. That's, that's, you know, all it is. That's what makes, you know, um, Techno music, amazing with a very skilled, fine-tuned mixer. Um, that's what makes them so amazing at, at it because, you know, techno music at its core is very minimalistic and be able to tra transcribe that into a, a one hour mix when you have all these trips and troughs and you are blending things, particularly if you're staying in one tempo, you need a great deal of creativity and you need to be very skilled at, at making sure he always doesn't get bored um, in something like that. And only very skilled you know, uh, um, performers and, and mixers can do that. And that's why I have tremendous respect for them because it really does require a very high level skill to do something like that. Um, yeah.